all ages. It is I, your captain speaking, and we are heading off to do something very important. I said recently I was going to start a new task. I'm going to do a 30-day adventure of kind of recreating how I built my life back from nothing. And I mean nothing. I lost my home. I lost my credit. I was in debt. I had $3 to my name. I had full custody of two children, and I was got my truck repo, living in a hotel, in a car, etc., etc. Long story short, you can make something out of nothing. Instead of talking about it, I want to show it. We're on our way to my friend Matthew's house now. He is an estate sale guy. What I used to do at that time when I lost everything is to make money. I would go clean up his estate sales and I would sell everything for whatever I could. Sometimes I got 200, sometimes I got 400. I think one time I got like 900 out of the deal. It's a little bit of money, but it's something. You need to build your capital up to invest and make money. This is might be start of the 30 day or it might just be a phase of it before I start. I got a couple ideas cooking, but anyway, we're gonna go see what we got. I think there's some treasures in this. What would you call it? The treasure pick? Estate sale? I, I, it isn't technically estate. He bought out an estate and just wants me to sell it and split it with him. There's avenues like this. You could find people all the time. One way to make money, Go to garage sales, tell them you'll come pick up everything for free afterwards. But I promise you're gonna make money. It's hard to, to not make money from nothing. I mean, it's actually really simple. You're gonna see. All right, guys, we made it to our destination. We're squad deep. Got my right hand man here, Eviana. Can they see me? Hmm? Can they see me? Yes, they can see you. Where's huh. my tongue? Oh my God. All right, guys, this stuff is a little bit more than I figured it was gonna be. I don't know how much of a video we'll squeeze out of this, but we're gonna kind of give you an idea as we go. We see something cool, but it's a lot of stuff. It's some junk, there's some artwork. Look, there's records right here, records. There is military stuff. Those are racks, just go ahead and carry them. Why not, let's bring them out there. Military stuff, fishing poles, knives, tackle boxes, stuff, things, stuff, Halliburton's. A lot of things here. Ziploc bags will dibs those. A whole box of look at that Avon costume jewelry. All the way in here to comic books. And then we have more stuff way back there. There we go. Garbage can. What's up with that uh, car right there? Chevy Bel Air police car. A, sh a Chevy Bel Air police car. Like car 54, where are you? Kind of like that, yeah. Wow. Military. I hope Harold's selling tomorrow. There's like six bucks each to him. It's a nice brass pitcher there. Is this a SpongeBob piece? Could be. No. There's some cool vintage clothing in there. Where? Baby suits, vintage women's clothing and stuff. Oh, nice. The bottom. Check this out. What's a good one? Show me a good one. Let's see. No. What oh, is that? A good one is the red one. What is this? This is a good one. What is it? A little fancy. We got some cool stuff right here. I'm just packing it up, all guys. What's in here? What? Reloading supplies. Oh. A couple pieces of ammo there, unprimed. All right, who doesn't like ammo? That's kind of cute, Ad Lake Caro. That's a couple bucks. Ooh, get full. Oh, Jess, that's a million dollars in selling thread. I'm just kidding, that is actually an eBay item. What do you think that's worth? I don't know, like 20 bucks, 25 bucks? I bet you it's 40. Tent parts, he said. I don't know. It's got some random junk. Don't get me wrong. It's not like everything is gonna be sellable, but Ooh. World War II military bag. What is that? I don't know. It's tight though. Oh. You could tell this is the box you really didn't care about, you know? Oh. The kiss of the sun for pardon, the song of the birds for mirth. You are near God's heart in a garden anywhere else on earth. Love it, Jess wants that. Now let me tell you about these. It's very important, okay? So if you look up this guy's... Um, 71 and 150 Yeah, so his, this is the one that sold 1500 bucks at Live Auctioneer. This is also by the same guy. Swar. Also, I'll send you his, it's Azar, A-Z-A-R, -A 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 okay. I'll send you his stuff. And this one here was like 800 bucks. Says who? 
uh, it's sold at auction. And this is uh, Elbert 86 to 200. So these ones here, if you can get a grand piece on these ones and like 300 bucks on that, we're doing good. What does it do? Polish for bald heads. Polishes for ba a bald head polisher. Yeah, you lay down oh. and she turns that on and just polishes. We should her save, head. we should give that to Storage Talker. No, it's for you. Wow. Oh. I didn't know I was bald. Mm, little trinkets of who knows what. Somebody's leftover it's stuff. It's actually a watch case. To what? It's a watch. It's a, for you. You take out the watch. Move it. You know, you take out. Somebody made it. It was an artist that made it. You have a watch case and then you screw in the band, leather band. See it? Look at this. Imagine you get your watch done. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Pretty sick. And then you've got. Oh, there's some silver. There's some sterling. But look, these are nice. World War II Ray Bans. Are they Ray Bans? They are Ray Bans. Bosch and Lom is what turned into Ray Ban. Are they going to eBay? Yeah. See. B and L. All right. These are... I just think you should wear these here. Take no, this off. You can't even see in we're, we're gonna get you on video, huh? They're, they're not prescription. They actually look good on you, man. They're, they're uh, real to real. It's oh, okay. These might it's be good for the. Real. This be good for the internet. We're gonna put some stuff on eBay, and then the rest of them blast out tomorrow at the internet. Real to real. They're good. These are kind of cool. Like that's. Nowadays, I mean, we're not going to use those at camping or something. Those are like a wall hanging, equaling 20 bucks. So I'm just going to give you a rough idea. All right, guys, we're going to kind of get you an idea of some of the stuff we got. Here's a newspaper from 1933. Military guy. Oh, a crate. That's kind of cool. If this was actually in good shape, that's 100 bucks. These fans are pretty hot right now. Some tent poles kind of vintage military style so we'll get that all up in there. I don't know what these are. How are they boat cables? Do you think boat cables? I have no idea. Play to win. This is like a whole gambling thing. I don't think that has much value. Here we have magnetic rock toss. Are you serious? Um, we have some locks here. I don't know if we save those for Michael storage units. If not, you can put those on eBay for like five bucks each. That's a cool little, probably twenty dollar bill on eBay, believe it or not. Ooh. We'll take this home, play with these later. What is that? We can brand each other. Oh, okay. You put them in the fireplace, right? Get them real hot, mm -hmm. and then we see who can put. I'll go each after other. you. All right. That's kind of nice. This will be good on eBay. It's a Colt revolver box. That right there, believe it or not, is probably 40, 50 bucks for this original Colt revolver box. Look at these things, oh my gosh. It's like a life vest from the Titanic or something. It's like a life jacket slash straight jacket, you know what I mean? Like, you me just rock this? It's too hot. The camera and doorbell and all that. And this is what all the guys are wearing, right? Like you see 50 like Cent wearing these at the club and stuff? No. I think those are bulletproof. Oh, my bad. Not waterproof. That's fine. Will Burr and Son. What is that? Everything. Some fall off masks. Look at these. These should go on eBay too, Jessica. I don't know how you're going to get all this to set aside, but maybe come to the market tomorrow. Wow. Check that out, though. Oh my god. Like, can you just imagine, like, let me get this bottle of water and a loaf of eggs, please. You know, you can't see me walking to the store like this. I'll do it. But for real, that's 40, 50 bucks on eBay. It's got the original from the jigger. I gotta run. Okay. Things. We got a whole other one. I don't even know what this is for. This is a stop and go light. Get another one of those. It's a whole bunch of fishing poles. I don't know much about them, but looks like you know Fenwick, probably a ten dollar pole. That's a beast right there. We got a, a Loomis, a G Loomis. We got a Team Iowa with that on there. A 
little on you guys. Cool, that's got to be a couple bucks right there, just some fishing pole. Show us a couple. Fishing line, fishing line, fishing line. It's all fishing This is line. a Garcia Mitchell 300C. You know what that is? Yeah. What does that one say? Yeah. Can you read? No. Let's practice. This is by Seiko. We should have words on the side, probably pen. Ocean City True Temper. Pen this is Pen Pillars number nine. That's an empty box. Empty box, empty box. These are cute for a little trout fishing. We could have probably used one of those on the one we just, uh, the pole I just got rid of. Those are cute. A couple bucks. Ocean City. Wow. This is probably what Uncle Michael used on his first job back in 1928. They had a little thermos in here and a sandwich and stuff like that. Back before cars and stuff. What do you guys think? I would venture to say yes. Uncle Michael, if this was your first lunchbox back in 1928 on your first job, comment below please so we know. Oh, that was his very first... I know that's not quite a lunchbox though. That was the made of baby food. Yes, baby food. Oh, it's wooden. It would have gone like that, and then you would have had the cardboard cutout poster. Different. I wonder what that's for. Anything good? Uh, glassware and then some miscellaneous. Alright. That thing's older than dirt right there. I'll, I'll do a more in-depth video, guys, tomorrow at the flea market when I break all this out. Show you some more stuff as well. What's in here? Let me show you how you open it like that. Oh, ooh. what is it? Oh, that's a cool little... Okay, that needs to get set aside. Oh, yeah, guys. What do you guys think? This is a, a definitely a get set aside and gets into the auction type thing. Wow, we'll set this aside. Halliburton Zero. Halliburton Zero. Some of this stuff, I have no idea what it is, but... You know what that is? Uh, a cot, maybe? Yeah, it's a military cot from the military. Mm -hmm. This is ephemera. I'm going to put this in that trunk. All right, we're just kind of packing up, guys. Um, we got one of those, two of those. That looks like something different. There's a third one there. I don't know. Ooh, is that Longenberger? Jess just sold some Longenberger. I did lapidated Longenberger. Like I said, we're going to take this home and go through that. This just keeps coming, guys. This is the second little pile. There's lanterns. There's packing supplies, Jess. There's phones. He tried to clickbait with these. I don't know what he thought about those. Like this right here. Want to put one of those in your car? Sure. Looks like we just got some totes back here and some crap that he just wants to be removed. Like, I don't even know what that is. I doubt that goes. Suitcase. Yeah, another box of phones, and who knows what that is? What is that? All right, guys, I tried to do a. I tried to get my filming in here, but there's so much going on here. I don't even. Uh, it's kind of chaotic. Here is a. Here's a pool. Here's a pool, and then here's this. And so I can't do a lot of filming, guys, because it's just really kind of dangerous. So, all right, we're back at home, pirates. It's been a long day. That was the sound of me pirate rum. Um, Got to take a little relaxed breather here. Long day, been going hard. But we finished this up here at Matthew's house and we're gonna go through a couple more things here. I told y'all we'd come back to the house and we'd start going through things. This is the little cute little glasses Evie is playing with the John Lennons. I don't know if they're um, necessarily super valuable, but they are cute. No rhyme or reason what's in there. I know Matthew's a wise man. He's he's not gonna like overlook $10,000 items and stuff, but that doesn't mean that there's not money to be made. Like things add up like this right here. Who knows? That's probably like a $10, $15 bill, whatever the heck it is. This was a neat thing. He kept trying to tell me a story about, like, it's some type of handmade watch piece. I don't understand that he was trying to tell me I put it on my watch, whatever. Um, let's put that back in here. Put that back together, pirate. These caught my eye because they're made by Bosch and Lom, made in USA, and they're military style aviators. So those are definitely an eBay item. 
and I will try to do what I can to yield the money, even though like it's free to me, right? Here's here's where making money comes in and it's important. It might have been free to me that Matthew gave me this and I'm going to get half, but wouldn't I want to make more? I will either put them in an auction or I will eBay them or I will take them to the flea market. I will make the decision. You guys tell me see things you think you like to see. Like maybe this little cool little lot of Ray-Bans will be cool for the auction. I don't know. We have random pieces of silver here. What's this? Spoiled rotten. I'm going to give that to Jess. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't, don't get mad at me, my love. That is a cool little cherub silver piece. And this is like just Orca's Island. Just a little random piece of silver there from Orca's Island. Ooh. That's a military medal. All right. What is that? I don't know. A lot of trinkets, so maybe we'll make trinket lots. Like almost everything in here is part of a trinket lot. What do you guys think? I'm gonna do my best. This will be out before I do any of the selling of this. I decided on the way home that I was gonna go to the morrow to the flea market and just start selling it. Amtrak conductor, Amtrak trainman. But I decided that I'm gonna take this off at my flea at my storage, and I'm gonna do a better job. I'm gonna try to film some more of it and also do some setting aside of things and that's where i'll get a good glimpse of what to do already with this stuff here look at that train man and conductor that's kind of tight he was telling me there's that's a hat badge too that could be a little bit of money break man break man break man break man what's that just an h or an a i don't know that's kind of cool weird stuff law enforcement badge collector okay all right that's one of the things that matthew loves is badges you would know him from many of my videos he's helped me make some of my biggest deals he was the one who had landed me the sale on the art for 150 grand before the other guy kind of screwed it all up and so forth look at those cute little rocks there and he's helped me with a lot of big sales over the years and he always is uh coming across things he does estate sales and something i'm thinking about doing is teaming up with him on estate sales because he can't do it much anymore. He he became a real estate agent, and the reason why he has all these things that I'm here picking up for him is he wanted to do the home sale. So in order to get the home sale, he had to do some form of estate sale for him. So he ended up with a buyout, and that's what happened. He bought all of these these items just to get the sale of the house. And I'm thinking of doing something with him where I help him run the estate sales, Jess and I for half the money and we just get an onslaught of things to do versus fighting for some of the stuff that we do end up doing if that makes sense sometimes my words don't come out right that's an avon piece it's not silver but still beautiful so yeah i kind of appreciate that um i want to make sure i yield money for him as well as myself naturally i want i want to make money otherwise it's pointless to do all this i'm going to go ahead and pull some of this out and then we'll kind of come back and recap what there is for jewelry here. Beautiful little bracelet in a box. I'm going to be saving all of this. This is definitely not going to the auctions, guys. This will definitely be set aside. We'll do a bunch of lots on the YouTube auction. Again, <clears throat> make sure your notifications are set to all. It's very important. If they're not, you will not get the notifications. That has a silver piece right there, so that's kind of tight. As well, I'm thinking of going back to the, the, the Pirate Auctions channel. Link is in the description to do my auctions versus doing them on here because it's conflictive and I do believe it messes up my system a little bit. And so I want to keep my notifications on point, etc., etc. So make sure you're subscribed to the little channel if you like the auctions. So it's kind of cool stuff though. You can see right here, all sorts of brand new Avon jewelry, guys. This is wicked all sorts of pieces i don't even know rhyme or reason what there is some of them are just all still brand new in here like that is a cool little ring it says diamondique on it this says all sorts of things in here and you get like an example here's a little pendant and stuff and then we got cz shapes every like one of everything right size seven it must have been what she wore you can see costume jewelry rings there's a whole little tray of them
And it's just a bunch of stuff out there. Everywhere you look is a bunch of costume jewelry. Some of them I hadn't even wanted. I just got tired of opening little boxes. Like, I'm going to open up all these and kind of show them. But that's just a lot of freaking work there just to close them back up. And it's going to be a lot of redundant things as well. Similar pieces. Everything here has something in it. So I'm thinking all of these will end up in the auction. You comment below what you think. We'll make lots of them like we always do. You can see we have some just sitting there from the previous auction. But this is nuts. All sorts of little pieces. You got earrings. You got necklaces. You got necklaces and pendants. You got more pearls. You got the seashells. It's just coming in here thing after thing after thing. What do we got here? Thought we got a Rolex. Nope, it's just the watch. Watches. More rings, more necklaces. And the cute little set by Bella Perlina. You got all these pieces right here. It just keeps coming in and coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Kind of cool. What do you guys think the value is here? I mean, like I said, my friend asked me to come pick this up. He bought the estate out. He just wanted to sell the home. He wants some money back. So he said, split it with me. I said, cool. So here we are. These things kind of caught Jess's eye. I don't know if she's going to dibs them or if we're going to end up selling them. If we don't, if she don't dibs them, they will end up in the auction. She loves perfume. We got Balenciaga. Ooh, let me just smell that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Balenciaga. We got some Tory Birch. Tory Birch is good. We got some Tory Birch, also good. We've got a shoot. Dang, Ed Day perfume, brand new. That's probably just worthy of being on the internet just in itself. Dang, Michael Kors, glam. I, I have a feeling she's going to dibs these guys and we won't get to sell them, but at least she's going to smell good. Biscotta. Ooh, Biscotta. Who don't love a bit of history, guys? If this trunk could talk to you. This is going to be some cool stuff in here. If you guys know, I love history. And I'm sure you guys love history too. Who doesn't love history, right? We have had a lot of history in our country over the years. Most importantly is the military history. And that's what I believe this to be full of. Let's get to it. Let's see what's inside. What do we got here? The testimonial dinner. Division Income Tax Unit. Okay, that's kind of cool. Deputy Commissioner of Internal Revenue Tendered by his Associates. All right, we got the IRS here. Right on. Attended, admitted to Supreme Court Bar. Group of attorneys of the Bureau of Internal Revenue admitted to the practice for the Supreme Court of the United States. Here we have a photo album. This is the thing that caught my eyes. Actually, let's go over here and take a look. This is the type of stuff that caught my eyes and I thought was pretty cool. This old bell, look at that. You got all these military ships. Everybody, a lot of people who watch my channel love mili- Oh my gosh, this is some cool stuff right here, actually. Look at these. Wow. We have some- Oh, dang. Holy smokes. Fighter jets from the Navy. Oh my, this is- This is gonna be good. This is gonna have some desire here. What do y'all think? Comment below what you guys think. Kind of falling out a little bit, the pages and stuff, but come on. Come on, work with me here. Look at the, oh my. Holy crap. That looks scary. Okay. Eye and ear fun. That sounds kind of fun. Get it? Eye and ear fun? Sounds fun. No? All right. That wasn't punny. Okay. Signs to good language readiness. Are we going to do it again? Oh, bummer. It's a town. A beautiful town. And we have... Is that Uncle Michael crying? That's why I presume it would be Uncle Mike, because he's always crying. Oh, 
this doesn't look too military-ish. It looks kind of cute. I guess it is a little bit military. So you can see the man right there. You can see him in his Navy outfit. Salute to him for serving in our country. And yeah, it's a little cool ephemera. I wouldn't call this a military, so it's not as appealing, I don't think. I think just a lot of stuff here. Too much ephemera to even just go through piece by piece. I'd have to sort it out, make lots, etc. Oh, wow. Look at that U.S. Army. Which is what I'll probably do. I'll put photos together, ephemera, etc., etc. Oh, wow. It's the White House. There we go. May 1961. Okay. This is kind of cool. Oh, look at that ship. We've got... Epton, Liston, Miss Shirley Ann Rail. A lot of letters. We call that ephemera. The Colonial, 1957. That's a yearbook. Those are generally worth anywhere from five to fifty bucks a piece when they're vintage. Things like this are great. Believe it or not, you can list something like that for anywhere from five to twenty bucks. I swear, just one piece like that. USO of Chicago. Somebody got into Chicago, right? Is that what it was? USO University. Oh, holy smokes, look at that. Alright. That is kind of tight. Lots of ephemera in here, guys. Lots. Lots and lots. More ephemera. Then you just get like... Oh, he's got a gun. Navy Photo Laboratory. This could be cool. There's bunches of those. I don't even want to touch those because you get your fingerprints on them and they start to damage things. Oh, Pier 5, World's Finest Fishing Fleet. A lot of stuff, guys. What do you think? Tell me how you would do this or what you want to see. You want me to put lots of this in? Oh, wow. What's he doing? I thought he was intertubing in the lake. I was wrong. Let me know how you guys want to see this. I could do lots of the letters. You can see all sorts of letters written of the Navy Island of San Diego. We got things like this, which is going to be. And again, this is stuff the families don't want, guys. Like you, you would think that they want to keep this, right? This is stuff they told me to get rid of. My friend wants me to sell it. And that's how it is. Some cool postcards. I'm just getting through here to the bottom of this thing. There's some weird stuff in here. You got stuff like, look at this. World's world's oldest headphone set right here. They say Cannonball Empire. I don't know what those are for. They look very primitive and different. And that's just what you can see right here on the bottom. I'm going to probably wrap this up here. We're not going to go through each one of these individually because it's been a mess. Somebody ransacked this. I'm going to make lots of it and set it up for the YouTube. But I think it was cool to kind of go through this history and when you watch the auctions you'll see each and every one of these individually but that was kind of tight scored all this all that whole trailer full we're still going to make another video of this like i said i want to teach you guys how i changed my life and making something out of nothing is very important because sometimes you don't have nothing to make it with and there is no freaking excuses anybody making excuses is only making excuses because you don't want to do it the fact is it's very possible to show you how it's all about excuses. I mean, not everybody has a truck. You can take a car to a, to a garage sale or something, or you can go to a Goodwill. You can take a bus. There's so many avenues. You could go to some people that are having garage sales. You could tell them, hey, I'll come clean this all up later after you're done and I'll take it away for free. Or you could pay me a hundred bucks to do a dumper and then still flip it. And there's many different ways. I'm going to show you some of them. This is just the start of it. It's coincidence because this is kind of, I did a couple of these jobs like this for Matthew when I first lost everything and it helped me. And it's just coincidence he's here calling me out of the blue. I didn't even plan this. Not to mention we're going to go with our 30 day plan. I've devised a way. We're going to divulge soon how we're going to do it. Not going to run it off this because this is too much of a free. I think there's several thousand dollars here you tell me what you think below but i think there's going to be several thousand dollars for him and i to split throughout this whole load but i got to plan this starting very soon in the meantime we also bought two more units that are coming up here soon too so i hope you guys enjoy this stay tuned for the next video like button share button subscribe and say something pretty